My name is Ben, I'm the Director of Decisive Technologies, who's a, a startup in robotics manufacturing in Toowoomba. Uh, I studied mechanical engineering and economics at the University of Queensland. Uh, and after graduating, I, I worked for uh, Orico in explosives manufacturing for a few years before um, working for a control systems integrator. Uh, throughout my uni degree, I developed a, an interest in, in robotics. I've always been, I've had a passion for, for business. So I've um, went down the path of additive manufacturing. And from there, I found out about uh, these uh, robots that are manufactured in the, or sorry, designed in the US by a company called Huntington Dynamics. We're looking to um, use it in applications. I mean, first and foremost is pick and place applications for um, small to medium enterprises that are manufacturing products, or they need to uh, electrically inspect items. There's a broad range of lightweight applications, and what we really want to do is make robotics automation affordable for small to medium enterprises. So you've got your first axis uh, J1, which is what we, we call them. Um, your joint, joint two uh, moves around uh, this rotation. And you've got joint three um, is up, up here. And then <clears throat> there's, there's two degrees of freedom uh, at the end here that are controlled by a, a differential gear. So uh, basically what happens is when you spin uh, the, these two motors at the bottom uh, with each other, you get, uh, that's J4 rotation, and when they spin against each other, uh, you get the joint five rotation. We've got three uh, Mark Forge printers and two uh, Prusas, and we basically uh, 3D print all of the components in-house to manufacture the robots and we get the hardware kits sent over from the US uh, and, and we uh, assemble everything in-house. For example, this, this part here is, is the main body of the robot. Uh, you can see it's got quite a complex geometry uh, and you know, for us to, to machine this component or um, you know, have it vacuum formed, it'd be very costly to, to do that. There, there are some limitations to what you can print on the 3D printers uh, and, and threads in particular are quite hard to print. So uh, what the solution is, uh, is to you print a, a hole for, uh, that's suited for a, an insert uh, and you use a soldering iron to uh, press the inserts into the, into the plastic uh, which forms a bond uh, with the knurled outside of the, of the threaded insert and that allows you to um, you know, basically uh, create places to fix parts onto the body of, of the robot. It's accurate enough uh, to create press fits for bearings uh, and all sorts of uh, other parts to integrate uh, with the 3D printed component. I mean, I, re I really would love to see this business grow uh, to be able to manufacture 32 robots a month or more uh, and be able to, I mean ultimately if I can provide value to um, you know, small businesses and help them become more competitive on a global scale then uh, I think that will really uh, be something that would satisfy and fulfil me.